There is one corner of the internet that I have feel absolutely in love with, and that is the thrifting community. I'm not a thrifter, I don't thrift, but I love seeing people do it in their hauls and selling things. So I decided I was gonna get some stuff of my own. And I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> girl a mess y'all hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been around here while i'm kendra this is kind kendra creates this is my space where i share my life with you guys i also do commentary on a variety of topics and anything you send to me so send me some stuff i'd love to discuss if that stuff sounds good to you then make sure you are subscribed to my channel also go ahead and like this video while you read it and if you find yourself going through this video and you like something make sure you like it okay all right, so the thrifting community here on YouTube is amazing. And I became enthralled with it, like video after video after video. And one thing that they do have that's very accessible to me is um, there's this company called Threada and they sell you these mystery boxes. And inside the mystery box is certain things, whatever, they have different boxes for different occasions. So I decided to get one of these boxes right here here's the box and the box that i decided to get was a coach handbag box so it was like a hundred dollars plus tax it was free shipping it was also i believe it's going to be four handbags and one accessory and so the accessory could be like a little coin purse or whatever so i'm just excited to see if these items are any good if they're beat up or whatever and mind you i know nothing about resale value or any of that i just wanted to do it because it looked fun <laughs> I'm not even the hugest fan of coach. I have like one coach purse, like, but my sister is an absolute coach stan. And so I thought this would be good gifts for the ladies in my family if I didn't want to see anything or because I'm most likely will not be re reselling it unless someone watching this video wants to buy something from me, then we can communicate and you can purchase it or whatever. Cause I'm not, I'm not a thrifter. I just saw it and thought it would be a good idea for me to do this. I don't know. Okay. I'm out of my mind crazy. Okay. So, but here is the box that I have. It is the coach box. I have not opened it. I do not know what is in here, but I am opening it right now and I am excited y'all okay so very up top is like the invoice here it is a rescue box for coach and I paid a hundred dollars for it and it has like the little tissue paper at the top and the first bag here is this coach a little goodie and I feel like my sister has this exact purse like I kid you not like I think she has this literal exact purse and like the coach is here in cursive and on the inside is the stamp there and it's not too too beat up on the inside but it looks like it has some pet hair on the inside and see it's not too too beat up okay this is not my style, but it's definitely my sister's style. Because like I said, I believe she has this literal exact purse. I kid you not. Okay, another coach one is this little goodie right here. I don't know if this is a, this it says Coach New York. I don't know if this would be considered vintage. Like I said, I don't know anything, y'all. And the stamp is right there on the inside. The inside is actually wonderful. Like, it's wonderful. This purse is wonderful. It's in such good condition. Like, I actually like this one for myself. Like, that, that's probably gonna stay with me. <laughs> um, and I guess this is my little accessory, like this right here. Um, it's not a coin purse, but it's like a, it's, I don't know what you call it but it also says Coach New York there. This is in such good condition. Like there are no marks or anything. And on the inside, there's like one pin mark on the inside. I mean, yo, this is such wonderful condition. 
Like, I'm blown away at the quality. This is actually very nice too. It's not a coin purse, but I guess it's kind of sort of like a wallet. It has like the little openings here where you can put your credit cards and stuff. So that's very interesting. I like that as well. Okay. So here is another coach bag here. It doesn't have anything. This is, it feels heavy. It feels really heavy. And look here. Wait, hold on. No, this, this is not coach. This is Mark Jacobs. I don't know how I got this because this is supposed to be a coach box, but it has a Mark Jacobs purse in it. This is literally supposed to be a coach box. I'm not complaining though, because this is actually a nice purse. Like it's really heavy and I mean, it's in good condition. And even on like the inside, there are no marks. Wow. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna contact them about that because that is weird. Or I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna Google and see if other people have that same issue. But I mean, <laughs> I'm thinking like, oh my goodness, okay. I do like it. I do. I do like it. I actually do like it. Okay. I'm I'm like a um, neutral colors kind of gal when it comes to handbags or either like really bright colors. So these are actually like taking me right now. And this one is a neutral color as well. This is a big one. It's very heavy as well. It's a little bit worn on the bottom a little bit with a little bit of markings and you can tell because it's lighter in color, but this one is a coach. Um, it is a coach. There's a little pin mark right here. Um, there's the stamp. It's a pin mark on the inside right there. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. It's in pretty good condition. Yeah, it is actually. I don't know if this came, I believe this was supposed to come with another strap because I do see this, it was probably supposed to come with another strap, but there is no long strap with this. So it's just the handle like this. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's it for the box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think I'm gonna keep, uh, you know what I will do? I am going to find out the ladies in my family who want one and I will give them whichever one that they want. And then I will keep whatever is left over. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so this has been a new and interesting video. <laughs> one time I did a Coles haul and a try on. I like that video too. I'm not necessarily like a fashionista type of girl and I'm not a thrifter or anything, but I just thought this was interesting and I was just like, oh, I'm going to do that. That looks fun. That looks neat. Okay, let me throw down a hundred dollars. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also check and see and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you can have access to all of my content. Make sure you guys continue to spread kindness in a world full of hate. I will see you on the next one. And thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye.